subscribe to become an automotive techie yes in this channel as well as playlist we have bought you enormous contents that relate to automotive as well as embedded systems yes welcome to embedded world keep learning keep growing subscribe if you're not so here the driver has driving this car without any problem but suddenly the driver has some indication in his dashboard saying that the indication seems like the left front left wheel has some problem maybe the pressure may be less yes this is what the indication clearly shown so how this indication he is getting is see the from the four wheels the uh, see the four wheels it, it is sending it's continuously sending the signal to the ecu so this is the uh, tpm as it is uh, tire pressure monitoring sensor so this four sensor for the four wheel continuously transmitting the signals to the ecu the signal is nothing but the the information about the tire pressure so once the tire pressure is not up to the range or it's not uh, equal to the reference value so it will start to give an indication in the dashboard so this is how it will work then the driver can uh, be before making uh, any you know the big issue or damage he can just uh, go and fill the um, air and uh, he can make it see now the indication has been stopped so this is how it works the interior look of this tire pressure monitoring sensor has mounted in the wheel the overall structure is like this and let's see how it looks inside and what are the components consist in this is the tire pressure monitoring sensor uh, which the entire setup has been uh, shown here so this is a microcontroller with the pressure sensor let's have a close look on each of these modules with internal things ppm as that is tire pressure monitoring system in this tire pressure monitoring system uh, this is the first uh, one uh, that is the transmitter TX so this transmitter will be uh, within the tires that is inside the tire rim the transmitter has been kept so this transmitter can be transmit the signal that is transmit the information about the pressure as well as temperature by using antenna okay so here see in these uh, here they have clearly mentioned uh, here the TPMS sensor will be kept and this can be transmit by using this antenna then to to whom it will send or to which code which module this tpms signal uh, that is the tire tire pressure monitoring sensor information will be sent so this will send to the rx that is rx is is it's not only rx is a trans receiver that is transmitter as well as receiver so it is a ecu so it will receive the information from the antenna of the tire pre tire pressure sensor and it will transfer the uh, transmit the signal to the uh, cluster that is the um, dashboard see here once it transmit then it will start to give an indication so this is the three step uh, uh, the procedure the, the three step process of the tpm must see here it will transmit the so the tire pressure sensor will transmit the information to the ecu so ecu will receive and it transmits to the dashboard and dashboard start to indicate so this is how the overall process let's see in depth like how it will so here this is the sensor that is the tire pressure monitor sensor it will keep on monitor and uh, it will give the information to the ecu so this is the ecu it's a rx and this ecu will process and it will uh, just uh, uh, compare the reference and it will compare the for example say if uh, 30 is 30 bar pressure is your uh, uh, 30 bar or 35 is your um, the reference or the maximum tire pressure uh, then it will for every seconds or every every particular uh, periodic seconds it will keep on compare the tire pressure with the uh, pressure which is sending by uh, sent by the uh, TPMS sensor so here once it uh, once it compares and it gets the result as the plausible the there is the non plausible then it will give the uh, indication in the dashboard so this is the overall process let's see again how it uh, how the internal blocks contains and uh, what it works see this is a within tires that is the transmitter right so it means uh, this is what we are uh, talking about see this one so what this contains see it contains post antenna so antenna is uh, to transmit the uh, information about the tire that is uh, the temperature uh, information or pressure information then this is a battery uh, first of all the battery is to give supply to all these components uh, including antenna mcu there is a microcontroller unit temperature sensor and pressure sensor 
then here temperature sensor and pressure sensor keep on continuously give the information to the uh, microcontroller unit the microcontroller unit process it and sends to the ecu by using antenna so now let's see once again the flow here the battery used to give the supply to all it because uh, because of this battery it will all works if battery goes down nothing will work then temperature sensor and pressure sensor will keep on monitor the pressure and temperature and it will send to the uh, microcontroller unit this microcontroller unit process and it sends to the antenna so this is how it will work and the main thing is this complete component is within the tires okay so this then let's see how this rx this ecu what it contains this is the receiver there's the ecu see this is antenna so this antenna is to receive n so this antenna first it will filter it will filter the signal it will filter the noise and it will send the proper signal to the microcontroller unit not only uh, the, the mcu is always get uh, is also get the power supply so once this microcontroller unit process the signal not only process once it process it will compare the reference with the reference values then uh, if the if it fails means if the if there is any non plausible uh, stuff occurs then it will send to it will send the data to the can trans receiver so here it's not only if it is fails it will send if it will always keep on continuously send uh, per second okay so if it is uh, if it is not in the range then it will start to give the indication like there is a no uh, tire pressure with the particular wheel so here i guess yeah so tire pressure low in the some wheel left wheel so here indication is there and here in some cars there will be wordings and some cars there will be the um, the car pick the car schematic representation like the wheel blinking like that so it depends on the user uh, means the oem so this can try and so here the can communication this can communication plays a plays its role to send the uh, information to the uh, from the easy to the dashboard so this is what the chassis works I get you are clear with this oh, this is transmitter within tire and this is ecu there is chassis in the chassis it sends to the dashboard so let's see once again the internal working in the quick notes sensor senses the tire pressure that is tire pressure gets processed by the microcontroller unit and transmits to the ecu for certain interval of time then ecu receives the signal from sensor and start to compare with the calibrated value which programmed in the chip so this is what it will in the mcu there's a microcontroller unit starts to compare so once it compares it's, it's always used to send the result to the um, can trans receiver there is a uh, to the dashboard if it is more then it's it starts to give an indication if it is uh, sorry if it is less or more it start to give the indication if not it will not indicate anything then if the actual value deviates from the calibrated value then ecu transmits error into the dashboard so the driver gets indication from the dashboard so this is how the driver will get the indication so in our next video we'll uh, look upon the working of car antenna that is one of our subscriber have commented so next video on this i hope you got something in this video if yes you can hit a like and if you want more race you can always leave a comment and don't forget to subscribe if you are not subscribed share to your friends catch you in next tutorial until then bye bye